Six months ago, a simple medical check for a competition licence turned into something much bigger. The PSA, which is what they check your, your prostate cancer levels or lack of, came back too high, so they sent me again, still too high, so then I had ultrasounds, MRIs, biopsies, PET scans, consulting with numerous medical people, and eventually, you know, the, the experts decided it was best to do something about it. You know, they take 18 samples uh, and 14 were cancerous, so, you know, at that stage you've got to roll over and say, oh, it's surrender. John Bow, affectionately known as JB or Bowie, had a procedure done called brachytherapy, which is a type of nuclear radiation used for prostate cancer. The first day afterwards I felt fantastic. I thought, what's all the fuss about? And then the next day I felt like I'd been hit by a 747. So, <laughs> so it took a bit more out of me than I thought. Three weeks after the procedure, and he was back in a race car. Uh, he has said, though, that motor racing is often the best tonic, and he loves nothing more than getting to a racetrack and driving a car, and he's taking a race-by-race -race approach. He told me I wasn't going to die, so that was good enough for me. <laughs> so, I think that's a positive, don't you? He only went public about his battle with prostate cancer in early February on social media. The response he got made a lasting impact. It's been quite touching, you know, and overwhelming. It's been very nice, and, and I, it's nice to know people care about you. And these are just motor racing followers. They're not, you know, they weren't, they're not heroes or supercar drivers or anything. They're just good people. JB lost his great mate and former supercars driver Jason Richards in 2011 after he died after a 14-month battle with a rare and aggressive form of cancer called adrenocortical carcinoma. JR never far from JB's heart. He fought very hard. His sort of cancer was very, very vicious, very aggressive. So, you know, I see his wife and his kids regularly. he would never be that far away from us, and I hope everybody always remembers him. This week he started external radiation treatment for five days a week over the next five weeks. But he has one simple message. It's just a little pinprick of a needle, off you go. So it's dead simple, very easy. So go and do it. But for now, JB isn't ready to go just yet. One of our members here, who's not racing this year, is in the, the funeral business. And he's a terrific bloke. And he came up to me yesterday and he goes, are you ready for me yet? <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious. Ah. Brian Vanderwacker, Fox Sports News.